Welcome to your Daily Writing Habit, episode number 54. I'm your host, Christine Whitmarsh, also known as Christine Inc. I-N-K. That's spelled like the stuff you write with. (laughs) Every day, and now on Amazon Alexa, YouTube, and iTunes, I am sharing with you the writing habits I've picked up over my 18 years as a ghostwriter, book coach, and author. I have learned that three types of habits can have a huge impact on your success, and those are writing fundamentals, productivity, and mindset. The type of habit we're focusing on, and that is uh, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. So if you're looking for this series, especially if you're on YouTube, where you can find these episodes fairly easily, episodes 53, 54, and 55 all go together. This is specifically for those of you who want to write a book, but maybe not exactly right at this exact moment now. (laughs) And I totally understand. There's only so many things that we can pack into our days. And if you do want to write a book, but you're being very realistic about your time and saying, this is just not the right timing in my life to do it. Totally understand that. I respect that. And I can see how it's entirely possible that writing your book might not be a priority. However, and you knew there was going to be a however, (laughs) Rather than completely shoving your book idea onto the back burner and maybe forgetting about it, which would be personally very tragic for me to hear about, (laughs) I would like to introduce the idea to you of doing three simple things between now and when you are ready to start writing your book. These acts of preparation will keep you plugged into your book idea and also give you a head start once you are finally ready to start writing your book. So yesterday we covered the first thing. Today is the second thing you can do to prep for your future book project. Today's is research. If you anticipate the need for research in your book, even as you're still solidifying the structure and vision and architecture and all those other pieces of your book, why not dedicate a few minutes each week to this task? And again, I know this seems so simple, just go online and research and you know find some materials for this future book that I'm going to write. The thing is, just that small act, all of these three acts of preparation that I'm covering yesterday and today and tomorrow, these are things to help keep you plugged in energetically to your book idea, which I personally believe is a living, breathing thing. So when you do these things, you are reminding yourself, you're reminding your brain, this is still alive, this is a thing, you're keeping it alive. So research is absolutely a way to do that. It may not seem like you're actually writing your book or developing it, but it's connected to your book and therefore it counts. So research also might help either confirm or rule out different directions for your book. So it's a key part of the development of your book. So that is the second way to prepare for the future book that you're going to write, research. Stay tuned tomorrow for the third and final thing you can do to prep for your book project. Thank you for joining me here on Your Daily Writing Habit, where I'm helping you lock in your writing habits so you can finish writing an awesome book. And if you know someone else who wants to write a book, I would love it if you would share this with them so they can finish their book too. Until tomorrow, happy writing. Mm -hmm.